white people currently in Siena. Yeah, I lied. I did not go to P yeah, Venice this weekend because it was like 45 euro one way, or you could get up at 4.30 in the morning to like make a bunch of like switches and get there for like 18 euro, but I just didn't trust myself making all these train switches in a foreign country who only speaks Italian, so we're not doing it. So I am currently in Siena. Here, you ready? Hi! Yeah, there I was. Sorry, I make really blurry fast movements and we're coming up on... I don't know what this is. I don't have Dr. Cardi here. But it looks really cool and there's like this church next door to it that I'm slowly getting more and more of a view of. And you are too. Great. That's that thing. Uh, Secti Martini, probably. Um, yeah. I don't know which way I'm gonna go. So, this is a church. I don't know. I guess it has the Roman column. And it's designed to look like the Roman stuff. So, yeah. Designed to look like the Roman stuff. Sorry, there's mopeds. One's gonna come by. It's great. Yeah. But this is where I am. I think we're gonna go this way. So it looks great and interesting. So here we are in Siena, you guys. We're having lots and tons of fun running around, finding like places to buy stuff. I think this is like the Italian version of Hollister. It's like called Replay. I have seen so many stores. It's like it's like their teen clothing store. This is what all the teens wear. Um, this is oh look, a moped's coming at me, you guys. Luggage. A wheel broke in my like. My wheel and my luggage broke in like getting like when I checked it between the USA and Italy, so it was very depressing because now my luggage is broken, but I'm too lazy to buy new luggage. So, ooh, we found a little fountain. This is really cute. We're gonna, we're gonna examine this fountain. This looks like a unicorn. I'm gonna look at this unicorn here. I'll give you a good little view of it. It has water dripping. And here's the water. And fountain. This is a really creepy little dude. His tongue's like sticking out. I think water's supposed to come off it, but it's not. Like, do you see this right now? What is this? I don't understand it. So that is our little. It looks like a person, but also like an animal. Cool. If you read Italian, there you go. I don't read Italian. I have what looks like an egg. Oh! You can push the tongue down. You ready for this? Ready, ready, ready. And water comes out. I think it might be supposed to be a water fountain and you can get aqua non portabale. I don't know what that means. It's non portable water. I don't recommend drinking it. So we're going to continue walking. Okay. We're back on our walk. We got a construction site to my right, and a clothing store to my left. I'm not showing you them, they don't look that interesting. So, we're gonna keep walking. Oh, I see more construction! Italy has a lot of construction. It's kinda sad, but I guess there's construction everywhere, like even in the US. There's a purse store! Purses and leather goods! Italy really is like famous for leather. I don't know if I'm gonna buy leather. I can get a, like, leather jacket here, like, super cheap, though. There's a building down that way. Looks interesting. So, I don't know what we're doing. What do you call it? Do you I don't know. I'm reading things. So, here are different things in Italy. I'm going to stop, because there's nothing really in there interesting on this walk. So, goodbye everybody! Okay.